Hey guys, T Stark here, the guy who apparently specializes in reviewing dystopian novels from the 1930s. Speaking of that, today's book is Anthem by Ayn Rand. Anthem by Ayn Rand is a dystopian novel written in 1938, where at some point everything devolved to around the time of the ancient Greeks, and where individuality is non-existent. Our book begins with our main character, a quality 7521, riding by candlelight in a tunnel under the earth, telling the story of his life up to that point, using only plural pronouns such as we, they, and them when referring to himself and other people. He was raised like all of the other children in his society, in collective homes away from their parents. He went through schooling for a few years, and then realized that he was born with a curse where he learns faster than the rest and asks a lot of questions. He found that he really enjoyed the science of things and dreamed of being a scholar, but the Council of Vocation assigned him his life mandate, and he got Street Sweeper. He accepts being a Street Sweeper as punishment for his transgression of preference. Equality works with Union 53992 and International 48818, who is Equality's only friend, which is another transgression of preference. Equality and International find a tunnel in their assigned work area. Despite International's protest that exploration is illegal, Equality goes in anyway and realizes that it's from the unmentionable times of the distant past. Equality uses the tunnel as a lab for scientific research and stole paper to write a journal. Whilst cleaning a road at the edge of the city, Equality meets Liberty 53000, a peasant girl who works in the fields. He commits another transgression by thinking constantly of her. She has dark eyes and golden hair, and he names her the Golden One. When he speaks to her, he discovers that she also thinks of him. Later, he reveals his secret name for her, and Liberty tells Equality she has named him the Unconquered. In the ruins of the tunnel, he finds a glass box with wires in it that gives off light when he pulses electricity through it. He decides to take his discovery to the World Council of Scholars, thinking that such a great gift to mankind will outweigh his transgressions and lead him to being made a scholar. However, one night he loses track of time in the underground tunnel, and his absence is noticed. He's whipped and held in the Palace of Corrective Detention. The night before the World Council of Scholars is set to meet, he easily escapes. There are no guards because no one has ever attempted escape before. He goes to the World Council and presents his light bulb but they can't accept any unauthorized research and all try to destroy the glass box. But he jumps out the window and escapes into the forest where no one else would go. After a day of walking, he meets up with the Golden One, and they keep going on together until they come upon a house from the unmentionable times and read all of their books. They discover the word I and rename themselves Prometheus and Gaia, after Greek gods. The theme of the book is that individualism is important to have, otherwise we are easily tricked. The author's purpose was to show her philosophical beliefs of objectivism to others. Objectivism's central ideas are that reality exists independently of consciousness and that human beings have direct contact with reality through sense perception. I am, I think, I will. Anthem by Ayn Rand